Hi, I'm Shorty and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this week the weather wasn't very good to go out and film at the skate park. <laughs> so I thought I would show you my new skates that arrived last week. So I would unbox them and then show you how I like to set them up. So one thing to be aware of when you're ordering Bont skates is that Bont boots don't fit like your average shoe. For maximum control, you want them to feel like a second skin. So that's why it's really important to measure your foot and head over to the Bont website and compare it to the size chart. So in Australia, I wear a size 6, um, but it can be anywhere between like a 36, 36 and a half, 37. Um, EU shoe, so but in Bont I wear a size three and a half. Okay, so that's on the other So I have the semi custom My Bont's um, boot, Parkstar boot. Um, I have two different colors for each foot. See, I have my name, so it's black with yellow. And then for my, that was my right foot, for my, for my left foot, I have the opposite, so it's yellow main boot colour with black sort of trim, also with my name on it. You can have two different words, I guess, on your um, straps. So... If you want the same, let's put it this way. If you want the same colors for both feet, you can order through the website. If you want to have two different colors, you'll need to email in at info at bond.com um, and you'll talk to the lovely Kim and she will be able to help you out in ordering two different colors. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Parkstar boot before I finish setting it up. Um, as you can see from this little tag here, the boot is heat moldable. So if you have skinny ankles, you can use a hairdryer to heat up the heel cup and then use those big clamp things you get from the hardware store to clamp in the heel cup to make it a little bit smaller. Um, if you have one toe longer than the other, or you just want a little bit of extra space, you can use the hair dryer again, heat up the toe box area, and then use, oh, I don't have one, use the back of a screwdriver to then push out the toe box where you need that little bit of extra space. So for the stock Park Star boot, it comes with a 23 millimeter inbuilt heel, um, which I think is like 10, like about this much. In, uh, the MyBont Semi Custom option, you can also choose between a 13mm heel or a 6mm heel. 6mm is what you'll find in your standard derby boots, so if you want a flat boot, then I would go for the 6mm. I actually have a 13mm heel in these boots. I think next time I'll try a 6mm because I like to go fast and having a flatter boot um, is better for power transmission when you're striding out. So I think maybe I'll try that next time. So the first thing you'll notice about this skate is that I have a nylon plate on it. All my other setups had the Bont Tracer plate, which is a metal plate. Um, but when you add the trucks, the block, the wheels, it can get pretty heavy. So I thought I'd try the Prodigy plate to see if I could lighten up my setup a little bit. Um, I don't think there'll be any issues with it. It might not be as responsive as a metal plate, but I think for park skating it doesn't really matter that much so I'll see how it goes. So today I'm going to put on the wide disco truck. I do wear this narrow standard truck that the package comes with when I pair it with my block so I can practice unity grinds and royal grinds. Because I have a small foot, if I put on a wide truck and try and do a royal or a unity grind, um, I end up actually clipping my wheels before I can land on the block. So that's why I like to wear the narrow trucks for when I do those types of tricks.
about the disco truck it is designed for stability not so much for grinding i found on the tracer plate that i could grind on the disco trucks it did clip my kingpin a little bit but when i was doing 50 50 grinds on a ramp with coping then it was fine however if i try to do 50 50 on just a rail then that's where you sort of have your issues so if you want to be able to grind 50 50 on rails with no problem then i suggest you so in the box it comes with its own set of cushions um, it also comes with extra long pivot pins so this is to help you modify the disco truck to various plates so if you want to cut down your kim pin i suggest you use the smaller cone cushion um which i have put onto the which i've put onto this set here so then you can see there's like quite if i can angle it quite a bit of um king pin sticking up so if you put the smaller one onto your setup you'll be able to grind down this king pin bolt so that it will be lower than the trucks so you might be asking me why i choose the disco truck over other wide trucks which you can also grind on is because with the disco truck you can actually swap it out for this longer um, axle so that it can be like a super wide so this is a 70 millimeters and this is a hundred millimeters so if you're skating um big okay. vert then this is a good guy to have and it's very easy to swap out i'll just quickly show you They are the Park Flow Wheels. They have a 99 durometer. I did prefer wearing the Park Street Wheels, um, which are 98 durometer, because I like to do a lot of jumping and stuff. But I found that I needed, I'm not very good at pumping, so I found that I needed a little bit of extra speed to help me get up those ramps, especially on vert. So I do like the harder wheel now. One thing I like to add to my boot is these little gel heels because landing on metal trucks, especially if you're landing from a height and doing a lot of jumping, it can make your heel a little bit sore. So I like to add these into my shoes. Like this was a dollar, um, like this little heel guy. Just put it in my boot and away we go. So one thing I forgot to mention is this front rubber toe bumper is replaceable. I'll do another video on that later to show you how to do that. Um, but if you are like me and you tend to fall a lot, then it's better to have a little bit more protection. So you can accessorize with these bond toe guards. So this is the stitch version, which is like a cap. You just have to remove your laces and toe stops and it fits sort of like this. Um, if you prefer the flat look, it will fit sort of like, it will look like this, if you can see that. Um, and that just gives your boot just that added bit of protection. Because if you're like me and you fall a lot doing flips and stuff, your toe guard will end up looking like this. So I suggest that if you need that bit of extra protection, then adding a toe guard will help your boots last longer. So the last thing I wanted to add is that Bont has now come out with some new wax laces. So that's what's in the Bont Parkstar boot now. These ones are 6mm by 200. So if you wanted to buy different colours, they're like yellow. Um, you can go head over to the Bont website and order those. They have moulded tips. So it resists fraying. They feel quite nice. They don't stretch. So, you know, 
If you want to accessorize, go grab some more. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions on the Parkstar boot or any Bond products, you can message me below in the comments or you can hit me up on Instagram at shortstop.6. Thank you for watching and please like and share this video if you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more skating tips and tricks.